there's a lot of talk, um, and maybe it's just crazy talk, that the uh, energy levels in the LHC can actually uh, cause the universe to rupture and, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the whole global warming thing would be moot because there would be no, <laughs> there'd be no Earth anymore. What, what's the chance of, of that happening? Uh, basically zero. And the yeah, way we're talking about <laughs> hundreds of billions of nanoseconds, basically zero is still a pretty large number. No, <laughs> I, think, I think as a, as a scientist, we, we, you know, if when you calculate numbers, even if it's one with a hundred zeros after it, you know, one chance in one with a hundred zeros after it, it's hard to say it's absolutely zero. But when the probabilities are so low, it is effectively zero. So that's where my basically zero comes from. Okay. But, but we actually know uh, experimentally that it's not going to happen because uh, we observe cosmic ray collisions in the atmosphere of the Earth from cosmic rays coming from extra galactic sources all the time, every day. If you put your hand out, there are cosmic ray particles passing through your hand right this very minute. And many of those collisions are much, much more energetic than anything we're going to make at the LHC. And, you know, we've looked across the universe with the telescopes that we have and with all of our capability. We've never seen evidence for something as violent as this prediction that it would swallow the Earth and destroy everything we know. So I think we're, we're all pretty confident that uh, we don't have to worry about that. And your explanation of why the Earth isn't going to be torn away? Well, I think that, that, em that empirical argument is very strong, that if, if it was going to happen, it would have happened. This kind of experiment has been going on for billions of years all over the, uh, the universe, and so there's been plenty of chance if, if there was some route to a catastrophe to already uh, get there. 